assalamu alaikum students uh, today we are going to study about uh, one more topic of uh, grade 5 subject science that's fire and safety fire you know a fire uh, causes a lot of destruction uh, to life and property so we need to take some safety measures so that we can avoid uh, disasters caused by fire so now we have some precautions uh, here to be taken while handling fire so children should be careful while bursting crackers it should be done under sub adult supervision okay so they have to take such precautions so that they can protect themselves from the uh, fire caused by bursting crackers children should not play with burning matchsticks as it may cause some fire it may cause damage so what we have to do match boxes should be kept out of their reach while working in the kitchen or any other area where there is a source of fire we should uh, wear uh, uh you know we should wear uh, uh, such clothes that will not catch fire like we should not wear uh, synthetic uh, and loose fitting clothes as synthetic clothes catch fire easily and uh, we have to uh, we should not touch hot uh, pots or pans as it may cause severe burns one should be cautious while working in the kitchen uh, all electric fitting should be checked and faulty ones should be immediately repaired okay flammable substances means those the substances that uh, catch fire should be kept properly and we should keep them out of reach of children so some small fire extinguisher should be kept handy so that if there is some uh, fire uh, outbreak we can uh, just uh, extinguish it uh, with that okay smoke alarms and fire detectors they should be installed wherever needed then what is a fire extinguisher it's an active fire protection device that uh, extinguish or control small fires often in emergencies fire extinguishers release carbon dioxide gas which forms a cloud over the flames and cuts uh, with the oxygen present in the air so what happens whenever uh, there is some uh, fire uh, uh what we do we just cut the supply of air that helps in extinguishing the fire then we have different types of fire extinguishers like uh, a b c less common we have some classes like d and k so a uh, indicates uh, means uh, the alphabet indicates ash that those that burn to ashes okay so these are suitable class a fire extinguishers they are suitable for uh, fires caused by ordinary uh, solid combustibles like cloth wood rubber paper various plastics so what is this fire extinguisher filled with it's uh, filled with pressurized water so it's a, a water which is uh, pressurized okay then we have class b uh, so indicating barrel you know barrels uh, that contain the so it's a barrel we uh, talk about the uh, uh, those uh, like uh, flammable liquids and gases these are the containers carrying them liquids like uh, okay petroleum grease uh, petrol or an oil oil based uh, fire so it's a dry chemical class b fire extinguisher then we have class c so it is related to current so all those equipments uh, that are electrical like tools appliances uh, other plugged in devices so we use the co2 uh, uh, we use the uh, this a uh, fire extinguisher that contains this co2 then we have class d so dynamite it's an explosive okay so uh, combustible met metals like water reactive metals like uh, uh, sodium magnesium so it's a powder okay that is used for the extinguishing uh, fire caused by them then class k uh alphabet that's kitchen so it represent it in, includes those uh, like oils and fats vegetable oils animal fats and other fats stored in cooking appliances so we use a wet chemical agent i hope this is clear uh, where we talked about different classes of these fire extinguishers uh we use for different uh, materials i hope it's clear